Hey everyone, this is Derek here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how well the Tencent Gaming Buddy emulator actually runs through some gameplay. So uh, what we're going to do is we'll play a game. Um, I'll probably play a duo game as a solo. That way it's a little bit easier to uh, jump. You don't have to compete as much with people, um, and uh, it'll make it a little more challenging in the late game because I expect we're going to be going up against quite a few bots. So. Let's see how we do. Um, I am running this at Ultra HD resolution, although I don't think I really am because I'm running it in windowed mode right now. So um, we'll see how well it works and we'll see uh, how well the emulator functions and how well the game goes. So might just match again, see if um, sometimes there's an issue here where it doesn't match automatically after a few seconds. So uh, there we go. Okay, cool. So if you're waiting more than like 30 seconds or so with as much interest as this game has right now, I would just cancel and then rematch um, because then you'll be able to get in most likely a lot quicker. So let's see what we've got here. You can obviously hear the mechanical keyboard in the background. Um, I'm sorry that it's clicky, but that is the nature of the beast. Um, so let's see what we've got here. We'll just punch some people see how well this runs. I am using the uh, built-in video recorder for the emulator and then I'm just uh, recording voice separately at the same time so this is something that's much much easier on an emulator and that is working your way around uh, jumping and vaulting because hitting spacebar while you're moving you know on a touch screen it's a lot tougher to be moving and uh, hit jump at the same time especially if you're doing something else too so uh, situations were definitely an advantage. Um, I have to decrease the sensitivity of the free loop button. I'm probably not going to use that that much just because it is so sensitive right now that it is um, not very useful. So, all right, we've got a uh, interesting, interesting flight path here. Could do uh, military. We could do. You know what I think I'm going to do though? I think I'm going to go down here. I think we're going to go for. Um, that collection of houses near the lighthouse almost. I think we'll do that. We'll see how well this works um, and we'll also see if we can find any bugs just because this emulator is in beta which means there are going to be issues so uh, and I'm pretty sure parachuting is one of those it's not the easiest to do so we'll jump right about here I think we will do our uh, sideways drop method Let's see if I can do that reasonably well. There we go. And once we get to about 200 meters or so, I think we'll uh, just go straight down. So I'm not trying to do too much with the parachute just because this can bug, especially if you free look right now like this, uh, it can get stuck and then you have to hit alt a couple times before you're able to actually control the parachute again. Um, so that's why I'm not going to be doing that extensively. That looks like there's no one else around anyways, um, which is good. So what we'll do, we'll just run straight for these houses and we'll uh, see if we can find anything. So just vault on through there, grab that. You grab a extended mag, might as well. And we'll see how we do. Go for grip. I'm not really sure what we want yet. Um, gas mask. Oh, there's a uh, first aid kit. And a pistol. I don't think we're gonna pick up a holographic. It's a choke. And you guys can tell me what I missed. Um, that is always fun when you're shooting these videos obviously I'm thinking about what to say at the same time and uh, I don't think we really need a stock but the end result of that is that you usually uh, oh extended quick draw all right we'll get that just in case we find a um, an ump or something there's a pan all right you see the occasional stutter but nothing too bad on the emulator yet. Uh, no 60 FPS though, so that is important to uh, important to note. Let's see where the uh, first circle is. It's off to our. Uh, all right, there we go. M16. I'll take that. 
and a shotgun. I'll probably pick up the stock just in case. Wants to pick up bandages. Oh, we don't have a backpack yet. That's a problem. All right, let's see if we can uh, find one of those. Otherwise, we'll have to do some inventory management here and uh, kind of clean that up. Yeah, let's see what we got here. So we'll get rid of that. Probably get rid of the angle. We'll probably get rid of the stock. We'll get rid of the 45, um, and we'll keep the rest of this stuff. So we'll probably go there, get the energy drink. So, so this will be gameplay. Gameplay of, uh, do we want to do dual M16s? I might actually. I'm not a huge fan of uh, shotguns in this game. So there's a backpack. That'll give us some. There's a vertical grip. Another M16. So I'll use the ammo trick. I will um, swap them out actually. That way you get um, the extra ammo that was hiding in that one gun. So let's see here. This is where I started, so I think I'm up to this other grouping. Like I said, the sensitivity of free look is so high right now. Um, I do have to change that. This is just my first game with the emulator, so uh, I don't want to. Um, I don't want to use it too much, unfortunately, just because it's going to really mess up. Because everything else is pretty decent. There's a backpack level two. All right, sweet. Grab a stun grenade. And the vaulting is so much easier when you're uh, using the emulator just because, like I said, it's it's just so much smoother than trying to tap that button as you get very close to the um, middle of the um, middle of the window. So it's a lot tougher to do in mobile. Oh, here a uh, bot is hiding somewhere. There he is. I have to drop the sensitivity a little bit of the scope too. That is way too high. All right, F is to loot. I and I took off my um, tool tips. Oh, there's a 416. So we'll actually switch that out. We will um, go there, and then uh, that way we have a 416 and a uh, M16. Yeah, extended mag on that. All right, we'll take that. Sure, why not? So I expect there's going to be quite a few bots in this game, but that's okay. So this is more to just see how the emulator is running too. So we'll switch over maybe to uh, this. So use two. Um, switch to my second weapon. I think I'll switch to the um, this guy. So I have the AK and the um, the M16A4 just because, or the uh, the 416 and the AK. Just because um, it's generally a good practice to keep two weapons of different ammo. Um, there's a backpack level three, sweet. And an extended quick draw for a sniper, which I should um, be grabbing. Grab some more. Uh, I'm gonna say with that level three backpack, we can carry a ton of ammo too, which is great. Don't have a uh, anything better than a level two helmet yet though. That would be nice. I think we're pretty much looted up at this point. I don't think there's really going to be too much else here um, to look for, but might as well keep looking a little bit um, just because of where the zone is. We're already in the zone, so I feel like it would be a shame to kind of just leave loot on the table, especially if we don't really uh, need to do anything else right now. I think that was that was most of the houses, I'd say. So I think what we'll do now is uh, let's put that uh, extended magazine on to that. Let's see if I can tap shift two. I can. Cool. All right. So we're pretty good on attachments, I'd say. Probably get rid of the, uh, let's say, I don't know if you can drag while you're there. You can. Let's go here, map. Let's just clear our marker. Just right clicking to clear it. Um, and it's running pretty well. I mean, honestly, if you're coming from the PC version, um, this computer can run the PC version pretty well. So, you know, the PC version obviously looks better even. Um, but this version is free. And uh, again, it's the emulated, it's the official emulator for the mobile version. And uh, it looks pretty darn good. 
So you can see it's also running pretty, uh, pretty smooth, honestly. I haven't seen anyone else yet. The plane did drop around here. This is actually closer to where the uh, plane dropped, so it's possible we'll get somebody over in this uh, collection of houses here. There's a supply drop plane. And the free look, like I said, usually you use this way, way, way more, but the sensitivity is so high right now that I have to be super careful just making super small movements um, in order to uh, in order to actually uh, use it. I don't know why I'm grabbing stun grenades. I'm not going to use them. Got a ton of ammo for the uh, 416 though. That's good. Is that somebody? Yep. Don't know if that was a uh, bot or not. He died instantly though, so he didn't have a uh, didn't have a partner. Which is a little interesting. He doesn't really have anything good either. So go ahead, pick up some more ammo there. Let's do some inventory management. Awkwardly slow, of course. Um, so we want to grab H. Oh, nope. We don't. We want to grab G. So a um so if you turn on F1 you can see the tooltips here. Um, if you don't know what to push, uh, you can also hit F1 to hide that. I'm hiding it just because it's a cleaner interface. Um, but like F would be the AKM right now, which we don't want to do because uh, we're going to lose the uh, 416 then of course. So let's just pick up that stuff again. What I meant to do was um, switch over to the. AK and then switch to the AK again and what that does is it allows you to um, keep that ammo so we'll go here we will switch over back to a red dot you can see I'm learning this with you guys um, I guess we'll keep the quick draw for now and we'll switch back to the uh, 416 which we have to reload because we just added the added the extended magazine back onto it so you have to hit H to pick up this frag grenade, for example. So I don't think we have the uh, space for it, but that's how you would pick that up. Well, let's see what we've got here. We've got a motorcycle out that way. Uh, it's closing over shelter right now, so that's interesting. Let's uh, see if we could get a better helmet. Maybe that would be that would be nice. Let's run up here. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. We're stuck. Yeah, so sometimes there's a bug in this emulator right now where you try to vault and you get kind of stuck on the window, as you can see there, which obviously, yeah, there's a helmet level two. It's a little better, um, which obviously isn't good. We have a pan already, right? Yeah. Oh, here's somebody outside, I believe. Let's go upstairs and see if we can get an angle. Or I heard something. Hmm. Turn up my game sound a little bit. That was weird. Could have swore I heard something there, but maybe not. Supply drop dropping out that way. Yeah, let's go for it. got a ton of ammo, a ton of uh, pretty much everything other than some level 3 stuff is what we're really missing. There you go. It's a lovely sensitivity issue. So let's see if we can uh, potentially snipe some of the people who are uh, going for that drop. And that's what we'll try to do. As we do have a 4 times on the uh, M4, which isn't bad. You could put it on the AK also. Could honestly do it either way right now. where that 
supply drop actually landed landed out here somewhere. I don't see the uh, red smoke yet though. So is that a uh, motorcycle? That is a motorcycle outside. It's a nice day outside here so uh, I hear some motorcycles and stuff driving past normally too which doesn't make it any easier to uh, hear people. <laughs> Ah, shit's dead. I don't see anybody in any direction right now. And this is usually, again, when you would use free look, which is holding down alt, and then you can look around, you know, make uh, make use, take advantage of that third person perspective. Um, but in this case, it's uh, not super useful because the sensitivity is so high that you end up just flying around in circles, and you guys don't want to see that either, so... Uh, Oops. There is the death trap known as the motorcycle, which I think we will drive into the zone because we are we want to uh, get owned <laughs> alright so let's see if we find another there is a UAZ so we are 100% taking that this thing is I mean the, it's it's fine for uh oh there we go it's fine for what it is um, but if you have the chance to use any other vehicle in the game, I recommend it over this. <laughs> so the UAZ is my favorite, or one of my favorite vehicles. Um, it is quick. It is pretty decent off-road. It has plenty of armor. What the heck is that? Oh, that's a, oh, never mind. It's a guard tower. thought that was some weird graphical glitch there. I saw it's just like a random red thing. Um... Is that a UAZ? Yeah, that, that would be there, because that's along the road. I would camp there, but I think we'll just get more into the uh, middle of the zone and then see, see what's happening. Plus, I want this to be semi-exciting, and um, yeah, if we don't see anyone else, that's not going to be very exciting. So even if we get far, so you can see how the emulator is working with a uh, vehicle. It's working working pretty well. Um, I don't notice any crazy FPS drop or anything while I'm driving. Controls seem to be reasonably well. I have it set up for Control Scheme One right now, which is um, forward, back, left, and right. Let's see here if we can get to. Uh, there we go. Forgot just how much forest there is here. Um, there is a lot. Let's go for that cluster of houses, which I have a feeling is going to be occupied and fun to uh, fight over. Ah, there. Say the vaulting. Still feel like it's not as smooth as the uh, PC version, but Just look around. Don't hear anybody yet. Might head over to that other um, house over here, the red one, just because that's going to have better um, vantage point. Getting through those little windows is a little tougher too, just because of the size of them. Is that a uh, flash hider? I don't want that. Is a flash hider actually, I'm pretty sure I'm right here. It actually increases the uh, recoil or the um, how much the the spread is on your recoil. So there's someone. Probably an air bot. Yep. You can see my sensitivity is too, sensitivity is too high on the scope too. Um. 
and that's something that is an issue on this emulator um you can change that under the game settings and it's already very low so um especially for scoops if you i don't want to do it now because i don't want it to uh, stop recording i'm not sure if it will or not um that's a uaz that's not usually there but you can see you know just bouncing around in the scope here's a guy we'll go burst mode or it will go single shot we'll see if we can hit him a couple times there's there we go and you see i went to single shot one because the sensitivity is too high and two when you're shooting that far away um the recoil of the subsequent shots is going to make a miss anyway so it's kind of just wasting ammo there's another motorcycle death trap outside good to see and they have their place i mean i don't want to rag on them too much motorcycles have their place in the game they're fun but i don't know personally just give me a, a vehicle that has armor and doesn't kill you or try to kill you all right so you get some shots that way let's say we could switch over to the uh, other house here again if we want to take a look at what the zone is doing mm still shelter prison still a lot of things in the zone honestly the zone's still pretty big for how many people are left so i would expect their uh oh, there's another uh, uaz coming in see it some shots in on it so I'd imagine they have to know I'm in this house um, which is fine so we know somebody was going that way it's good to keep an eye on them where the people are now if I wanted to try to blow up the vehicle, I would have gone full auto and uh, just sprayed it with as many bullets as possible uh, with the AK, but I don't think that I could have destroyed the vehicle that quickly, so didn't really want to waste the ammo on it. Again, you can kind of use the third person to your advantage here looking around the windows is that another uh, that's the same buggy that was there before this is where those shots were coming from definitely this way either that shack over there or uh, somewhere in there but most of the people seem to be uh, off this way now, so maybe we'll head over, run over here, open close. We'll go upstairs here, and we'll take a look out these windows and see if we have a better shot. Other advantage here is we're closer to the uh, the vehicle, so if we want to move for the next zone, we uh, easily can. So the zone closes this way, so people are going to have to come over the... Uh, over this hill I'd imagine in order to uh, get to it because we know a few people are out this way let's take a look real quick either way too just to see probably switch back to auto at this point because I have a feeling that um, any engagements from this point forward are probably going to be pretty quick ones and pretty close. I don't have a two times right now. I still have the four times and the uh, red dot. So I 
there's a uh, another supply drop coming up coming this way might drop somewhere over there we might try to uh, might try to get that one and there's so few people left now that I feel pretty confident being able to uh, be able to get it especially with the UAZ I'm just waiting to see if those people are gonna pop up or not because uh, you can see where the zone is closing it's closing this way And that's another trick too, is if you um, stay a little further back from the windows, you are way less visible. So, um, because again, most people who are looking for people are looking on ground level. So if you're in the second story and you're a ways back, you're not like sticking your gun out the window where it's super easy to spot you. Um, it is not easy to see you. We'll take a look out this way just to see if we see anybody. Out there, there's the uh, supply drop, by the way. That's where it's dropping. We could go for it. I mean, the thing is, though, I mean, we have a pretty kitted 416, and VAK is a decent secondary, so. All right, there's somebody out that way. That's what I figured as the zone comes in, this is going to be the direction that you're going to see people show up from. I'd imagine at least. There has to be someone playing the outside, the edge of the zone there. Is that guy crawling? Yeah, there he is. So we'll switch back to single shot. Don't know if he saw me. I'm not too worried about getting into the next circle quick. Okay, he died. But he has a partner though, because I did knock him. So, uh, question is, is the partner the same area, same general area? Could be. Let's see, we see him out that way. Out that way, not really. So we only have a minute until the zone closes, but like I said, I'm not too worried because Unless someone steals the UAZ, I can just jump in that and then um, ride over to somewhere in the middle of the next zone. Take a look if there are any buildings in the next zone, maybe. Uh, it's closing on shelter. Yeah. And prison, really, is the only buildings and stuff. So it's going to be a uh, it's gonna be a finish in the forest, probably. So seeing if we can get any more quick kills before I, uh, before I go while we have this vantage point. Might as well take advantage of it while you have it. And then we'll reload and switch to uh, auto. So it's definitely going to be a uh, definitely going to be what we're going to need. Yeah, I don't know where his partner was. Maybe they maybe they got separated or something. And that guy was just crawling alone. I don't know. All right. Well, it's time to get going. So. We're going to jump in. We're going to be out of the zone for a second, but that's fine. We'll get into it fast enough that we're not going to take too much damage. Should have uh, boosted up fully too. That's just that was a dumb mistake. There's a uh, buggy there, so we know that that's going to be someone. if we can just uh, boost real quick. I forget what, is it eight? Uh, eight's a first aid kit, we don't need that. That's a bandage, All right? Just keep hitting the buttons. 10, 10 is a boost. Or zero, rather, it's 10 on my mouse, but. All right, that should give us a little bit better. Might as well boost up all the way. We have so many of them.
Let's see if we can see anybody. I don't see anyone yet. This is where you would use free look again if he had it um, and he had the sensitivity set to something reasonable. Now this is when it's disadvantageous to be playing a 1v2 because uh, you know you're going to be going up against duos. It could be two teams of two left plus me. I don't see anyone yet though. I should probably remember what the uh, throw bolts are. That's four. That's good to know. I think we're just going to move by foot. Maybe, uh, suppress shots off that way. Over there where that buggy was. And shots off that way. So we know those are big, big rounds. I think we're going to try to, uh, they're still shooting each other, so maybe we can uh, get the jump on them. It's pretty far down there. So we know where they are. So it's 1v2 though, which is a bummer. Figured that was going to happen. knocked out one of them. Just have to figure out where the partner is. Are they both there? Yeah, they are. Darn you, mouse sensitivity. Why are you so high? Alright. This guy has to heal though, definitely has to heal. So I might be able to flank him. I mean, I'm in the next zone here, so. Just have to figure out what tree he's at, and then we can uh, grenade him. Which I think he's at that one over that way, so. Let's see if that works. And there we go. Look at that. Guessed the tree correctly, threw the grenade, got the win. So uh, obviously, you know, this is the first game on the emulator. So, uh, you know, it's a win, but it's not really like a crazy good win just because a lot of those people were probably bots. But the last two weren't. Um, I think I knocked him and his teammate was trying to get him up. And then I was able to get the other guy a little bit. And then uh, close it with the grenade. So, yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, I know it was a little bit longer than normal, um, but I think I'm going to leave it just because I did do a bit of commentating through it, and uh, I want you to see how well the emulator Tencent Gaming Buddy, uh, which is now in public beta, is uh, is running or capable of running the game. And as you can see, it's pretty good. Um, I'll definitely have to make a video at some point talking about how to adjust sensitivity because I think it is way, way, way too high by default. Uh, but that's something that can be done and something that I will be doing after this game, that's for sure. So if this video helped you out, definitely give it a thumbs up so other people can find it and can find the channel. It's exciting to see the growth and it's exciting to see so many people passionate about PUBG Mobile. Uh, and if you're not subscribed to the channel, definitely consider doing that now because there's a ton more PUBG Mobile content coming, including uh, updates, gameplay, um, loot locations, tips and tricks, and a whole lot more. So my name's Derek G and I hope to see you on the battlefield soon.